could I also figure out like um, this magnetic attraction to have people I have none now for anything no one and nothing but when I did I'm still trying to figure out why it was there when it was nothing because and I also part of a light workers group on Facebook and there's a lot of people in there that have like messed up they think they've found their soulmate they think they found their twin flame they're going through hell and I can't comment on them because they wouldn't like what I had to, what I have to say because I know when they're in that mode that pain that desire that anguish that yearning there's other people in my life right now that are going through it and I'm trying to figure out what it is really not what society told us it is because they're wrong they're absolutely wrong and you can go through your whole life thinking that that's love and it's not it's totally not love um, so I'm wondering whether it's um, looking at that person imagine yourself with that person which gives you permission to be a different person than who you are or it validates you as a person that you think that other people don't see you as for example with me it could have been that I felt so um, unattractive ugly fat weird unconsciously and when I was with this person I felt young attractive vibrant passionate healthy helpful that I could help them that I could save them important and when I'm looking at uh, a particular guy that's going through this I'm thinking that he thinks it um, will validate him as a human being uh, it'll validate him in the eyes of his family that you know he's got this uh, beautiful family and that he's got his life together it's a successful white picket fence life and that it would invalidate his own demons within which is more like um, you know it, 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 it's some darkness in there then the alcoholism the the neglect and kind of I want to say abuse but I don't want to I don't want you to imagine like violent abuse or anything but like the times when he's chosen to be extremely selfish and and uncaring about anyone except himself by him holding on to this idea of what his life should look like for him to be validated in front of his family that is the like there's this need to fix it in in so many ways and and that even though it's not what he wants it's it's like this if he can do that then things would be okay because the world would see him as successful in all parts of his life and when I look at myself in that thing well it still doesn't make sense to me but I think it might be that because I felt so good helping someone else and I felt so like that that all the knowledge that I'd had up until that time would is like was my purpose and all that kind of stuff that I could you know validate my life my shitty life I didn't see my life as shitty and I'm looking at all these people who say oh you know ever since I've met this person I know that they're my soulmate because it hurts so much and I'm like no it's not supposed to hurt it hurts because you're going against your own soul it hurts because you're doing that which is not in alignment to who you are it hurts for a reason and the reason is because you your beliefs about what should be doesn't match what your soul is telling you is I'm just pondering these different watching another person that I'm thinking of like maybe they think that by being with that person they will validate them their own issues they haven't worked on like that their life would be more perfect if they were with that person it would give them permission to be who they really want to be who they actually think they're supposed to be but look their current you know circle they don't feel like they are that and that by being with this person they they feel like that would give them that perfect wholeness becoming who they are thing and regardless like all these things that we're thinking of here they all require the person to do the self-work on the the low self-esteem issues like the things that are coming up to be complete but you look at it like through a mirror of another person and you feel like that other person is the one that will help you complete that 
incomplete thing inside of you. But they won't, only you can. No one outside of you is anything but your mirror. They're, they're no, they're nothing, no human is going to complete you. you. You use the world. This is life. This is what we're here for. We do have these interactions with people all the time. And if you believe this stuff, you can be carrying around stuff that just completely is not true and passing it on to others as well. Everyone makes mistakes. This is, we learn from our mistakes and we learn the best from our mistakes. But it's uh, not unrelated to the whole um, pain that we feel when we feel like we've met our soulmate or we feel like we've met our twin flame. You know, those, those big, deep words that people use when they feel like they found the one, you know. And that one, if they're not... They're not coming back with the whole same thing. Like, they're not coming back with saying that you're their soulmate, you're their one, you're the twin flame. Then most likely it's just some uncompleted thing in yourself, some incomplete thing, some belief about yourself that needs to be worked on. You know, something that you feel is invalidated about yourself. It's something that you wish you were and you don't believe that you are. Some kind of thing that your soul is trying to say, you know, is automatically like it's an auto guiding system but it's something in you that knows that that's not true but it's painful because you can't find a way to express and find that way to validate yourself to other people but when you know in yourself that it's um, not true it's just like it goes away there's so many things in this um this journey that i've learned but i don't know which one has made it so clear to me that it's all me and why i don't feel I, won't, I just, just don't feel those, um, those pangs anymore. I really am trying to find out what worked for me so that I can help other people. So if I do suddenly feel the need to express myself and explore an idea, then I'm going to just do that, just in case it's the thing. I know I couldn't have done it without the itching because I was so far gone, so far outside of this world, so far outside of this reality. There was no way... Because, you know, I really, I was in a place where I felt like I was here to save everyone. And I did not see it as my ego. I thought that's what we're here for. So, if well, from that space, there's no way I could have come down to this space of no pain. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see ya.